their hunters, their colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry I cannot join you today, but I would like to welcome you in this important event to address the extreme challenge represented by one of the most pressing animal disease that we are facing today in the EU and globally, African swine fever. I would have liked to join you if only to stress again that your role in helping manage this disease is extremely important. And I ask you to share that responsibility by informing fellow hunters on do's and don'ts when it comes to this disease. For instance, it is important that every single hunter is aware that any contact with infected animals and dead bodies contact with anything contaminated by the virus, clothing, vehicles, other equipment can help spread the disease. Knowing these fundamental rules can make a real difference on the ground. I count on you. This meeting in Dortmund is therefore not only important to once again reach out to other fellow hunters, but also to follow up to the political discussions on African swine fever in the EU that we had on 19th of December 2019 in Brussels at the Conference for Ministers of Agriculture and Environment. Let me highlight some of the conclusions. Firstly, it is clear that the control and eradication of African swine fever is a high priority for the EU. ISF poses a serious risk to an important economic sector, as well as a wild boar population and the environment. Secondly, in several regions of Europe, the wild boar population has developed in an uncontrolled manner, playing a crucial role in the spread and persistence of the disease. Thirdly, we cannot ensure preparedness on ISF without considering the long-term management of wild boar in areas that are not yet affected by the disease. Fourthly, Hunting practices are relevant to the epidemiological evolution of the disease. Their effect on the wild boar population must be considered in any strategic approach. In particular, a long-term management strategy of wild boar populations, including its appropriate reduction, must be tailored to the particular situation of individual member states. The measures taken will have to be compatible with EU environmental and veterinary legislation, including nature protection requirements and properly assessed in terms of scientific basis, impact and effectiveness. Dear hunters, we know that wild boar play a very important epidemiological role as regards the emergency, re-emergency, spread and maintenance of African swine fever, which pose a significant threat to animal health and to the EU economy. A wide range of e effective initiatives already been undertaken by the Commission, and our harmony strategy have enabled the effective containment of African swine fever in relatively limited areas. We have already few but inspiring examples how the disease was effectively managed. I am referring here to the Czech Republic, where there are no more cases of African swine fever for almost a year. It proves that we have tools and knowledge in the EU on how to win against this challenging disease. However, we all understand that African swine fever cannot be easily eradicated. The fight against this disease will remain a key battle for the foreseeable future. Only a serious, integrated involvement of all actors can lead to a successful management of the risk represented by the spread of disease through wildlife. Let me repeat. Hunters are uniquely placed to make the difference and determine the outcome of this battle, for better or worse, as they may contribute to increasing or reducing the spread of the disease. Your role is crucial in this battle.
I wish you all a successful meeting, constructive discussions, and a very useful exchange of views over the course of this meeting here in Dortmund. Thank you.